Well, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 Fans. And I was thinking to myself, there's one thing I'm dreading in this Let's Play is when we get through the main story. Because then, you know, it's on to the answer or whatever it's called. The added uh, extra scenario that's only available in this version of Persona 3. And it sucks! It's like... I, I assume some people probably didn't like the writing, you know, what they did with the plot and characters, maybe. I didn't mind it. thought it was alright. No, what I don't like about the answer is that it's grindy and it's filled with difficult enemies and bosses. It's basically if you just took Tartarus and turned it into like a challenge match, where you're just going through Tartarus, get a little bit of plot in between, and then you keep going. You don't have any of the things that make this game unique. It feels a lot more like, you know, it's uh, predecessors. Is that what you call the games like before? Like some like before? Whatever. Like I've said a number of times, I didn't play the Persona 2 games, but I have played Persona 1. And as I've mentioned before, there's this Snow Queen side quest in Persona 1. That is the equivalent of the answer. In where it's basically just a long grind through dungeons, loads of battles, tiny, teensy little bit of plot in between to break up the monotony, but it's mostly just the grind of battles again through obnoxiously large, drawn out dungeons. That's what it is, basically. Like, even in the original Persona, you know, the main story stuff wasn't too grindy, you know. But, you know, that, that other part of it is what the answer feels like to me, so I'm not looking forward to that. But that's still a ways off. I was just like thinking that, because we're up to part 41 now, and we're not even halfway through the game, really. It's crazy. So like we're probably... well, I don't know, actually. The game goes all the way up to, like, March or something like that, I can't remember. Of course, you know, the game's misleading. You look at the calendar and think you've got the whole year right now. There is a bit of a time skip at the end, because of course... I think there's a bit of a time skip at some point later on in the year as well, where it skips a few days. I can't remember. Or maybe that's... Maybe I'm thinking of something that already happened in the game. I can't remember. But, you know, it gives you the illusion that you're going to spend an entire year, but no. It's more like maybe 10 months, maybe, maybe 9 or 10 months total, where there's like uninterrupted days you play or whatever. I don't know, I can't remember. What was the point of me bringing that up? Um, so if we're in... Are we in June now? We're in June, right? Yeah, we're in June, so there we go. We're in September. October, November, December. So we got at least six months. At the very least, I can remember where it's like, you know, not like a bunch of time skip shenanigans and stuff like that. So at least six months, so. Yeah, we're not even at our halfway points. <laughs> We're close to it, maybe, but we still got a long way to go. Let this go to show. These games are ridiculously long. If I let's play Persona 4 back in the day, it was over 100 parts. And then look at, you know, Final Fantasy games. Whenever I'd let's play one of those, like Final Fantasy 8, 9, 10. Those are the only ones I've let's played, man, I think. You know, all, each one of those went over 100 parts. Well, that's 10 took me a few years because I, you know, did the Dark Aeon shit as well. Couldn't defeat the Super Ultimate Boss Penance without relying on the Jumbo because that boss fight is ridiculous. It's just a long grind that'll take you at least close to an hour and it just didn't feel worth it. Constantly trying to win that fight because that asshole heals all the time and hits like a brick. Such an unfair battle. Which is where your Jimbo comes into one shot if you're lucky. So, yeah. What I'm saying is, fuck that boss. You want a Christmas star? Um, let's see what else we got. I think we can use 
Archangel or whatever we got, and if we get Angel, you can use that, I think. I'll go with this one. I don't know it's Christmas though, it should be using the camera of someone. Yeah, we'll be getting that one today. Now let's go, let's see if we can fuse some. What does slime fuse into? He has media, that's pretty decent. Um, I think we gotta be needing a unicorn pretty soon. There'll definitely be an upgrade for the higher factor. I'm just curious to see what the increase in actually. There's another one, but <laughs> it's too high level. Let us go hang out with Baby. How's it wearing out today, right? Is the lyric, I've never felt like some mental lover or someone else? It's like I've said before, you know, it sounds fluent, you know, the English singing, until you really stop to try to think of what they're actually singing. And you're like, the accent is clearly too strong. Because it's like, what are you singing? That reminds me, you know. I, Japan, they love to, you know, I mean, music in this game is sung in English, but you know, in anime, I haven't really watched any anime in years, but you know, Japanese love to throw in random English words or phrases in the song, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, it can be pretty awkward, you know, I'm thinking, I was thinking of uh, a song by X Japan, Called Art of Life. It's a ridiculously long song that, like, half of it is just a chaotic piano solo where he's banging on the piano. I mean, I kind of get the implication of it is, you know, you get this nice, simple melody and all this banging on the piano is like, and then life throws this at you, this, that, this, that. But, anyways, you have some really weird English, because it's all in English. You get some weirdly worded slurs like, uh, how long have I been feeling endless hurts? Or something like that. I haven't heard the song in years, and it's like... I mean, Battle of Lyric would have been... How long have I been feeling endless pain? Not endless hurt, that just doesn't work. And there was this one... When did the lyric go? All these lush flowers fall, or something like that. like, what kind of lyric is that? How would you reword that to make sense? Just like, life is lost flowers fall. Doesn't make sense, does it? How would you reword that so that it sounds more natural? It's like, life is lost. But I don't know how you'd work flowers into that. Which Sarah or Senpai's have is fluent in French. So cool she is with the way she looks and all. So imagine it gives me goosebumps or, as Mitsu or Senpai would say, I can't speak much. But she can. What I told you, they just fainted because they were out all night. It's not exactly Apple Syndrome. Those people who fainted woke up, so I guess that means they didn't have Apple Syndrome. You know, this game feels easier to talk to NPCs than, say, Persona 5. It's just like too much freaking dialogue in 
sort of five for the NPCs to walk around and you'll be here chatting and shit like that. So it gets a bit annoying. Heard from a friend online about this freaking site I've been taking out. Said it's about revenge or something. And the bad kids are up here. Put Osama, what are you doing today? If you are bored, come see your home economics room, please. What a guy she has. You know, that's an example right there. On a guy she has. The goo at the end ensues in silence. Seems maybe wants to hang out with you. So you get these random, you know, instances where it'll be silent, and I always find that confusing, but then when you start to think about it, how much shit like that is in English when you think about it? English makes no goddamn sense. The only reason it makes sense to us, even though it might not make sense if you stop to think about it, is because we grew up with the language, so it's natural to us. You know, if you're, uh, you know, first language is English like me. Otherwise, it's just like, I don't get it. Is it just me, or is the text bar kind of off? It feels like it should be up. It's like you got all that space. Why is it all the way down there? Since you have negative time, I have a sign up. Experience into our eye. Arigato, thank you. Never seems happy. Well, not too happy. Yeah, we're in high school, and that's not it's time for fashion club. There's nobody fashionable in the school except groups. Good or something. Want to go somewhere to eat that is. Sure. I get Okusaimus, thank you very much. It seems happy. Is this something I need to talk to you about? Decided to go to the restaurant with okay. him. Or a restaurant, rather. The only restaurant in town. Well, there are a few, but whatever. There was an eye strip mall. Oh, look at two restaurants. You and Bebe are enjoying a delicious meal. I'm afraid I might have to go back home. I was able to come there because of my aunt. Uncle did not agree with the decision. He is yelling at me to come home now, like the mafia. If I go home, my uncle might never let me with him. It's like, oh well... Uh, then stay. I would love to stay in the home. This country is where I want to live and die. But there seems excited. <laughs> it's like, he takes that literally. It's like, live and die. It's like, rather than go back home. It's like, no, well, that's a really, really, really super dark turn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, he would not listen. I mean, I suppose they're probably uh, sending him money as well, so that he can stay there. All arrangements and stuff like that. So Aunt was clearly supportive of all this, but I don't like it. Now, I've got to know you uh, well, Mr. I cannot say sayonara like this. Maybe I have shared his troubles that all the time. Is it from now? His voice rings in your head. What I learned about blah 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 happens. The transfer soon cycle is reached level 5. Damn it, zero. It's almost time to say sayonara. I'll see you at school. Maybe, maybe that comment is right. Maybe in this case, sayonara means like goodbye forever. Because he's like saying, "Now it's not time to say goodbye yet." I just like to go back to the door. I've never really thought about it. <laughs> you know, you got Welcome different back. ways of saying goodbye in Japanese. I mean, you could say that for you as well. You'd be like, see ya, later, goodbye, bye, you know, you can shorten it, farewell. I was gonna say, like, catch you later, but that falls under 
later. Now you got different ways of saying the same thing. And it could have different uh, contexts, I guess. My weapon of choice is the one handed sword. Maybe where it's their powers, I said this in the previous parts. I have no need of it. Surprise boot from one of fine wheels. If you do anything, you're still jealous. You're saying the same old shit you said the previous day. Nobody got any dialogue? I guess not. How about you acting again? Ah, uh, you want some protein, huh? Yeah. That's not bodybuilding, eh? Well, I have some left of the stuff to give it to back in the day. Hold on. Why is it only now that we can ask you about this? Here you go. Because you clearly already had this stuff. And you've always had the dawn. See, I'm a pro. Especially for me, if you guys can start now. Shadow's getting stronger. I'm back to my old battle. New auto control system in cars is improved. Experts predict less skidding on rainy days. To the cafe, I think. That's Tuesday, right? Yeah. Alright, so how do you ever think of that uh, guitar cover I put up? You know, <laughs> by the time this part is uploaded, it would be in a quite a while back, but it was only yesterday so we're going, we're going on the uh, 8th. The day of May. We are in May, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like I finally got around to doing the guitar cover of Resolve from Mother 3. Like, even then, it was a pain in the ass to record it because the cat kept walking on my keyboards and screwing up the recording. Because I was playing along to the music, and the kitten walking across my keyboard would basically like, move the video further in because I was like, had it up on YouTube. And then I have to restart. It's a pain in the ass. The reason I just brought that up is because, you know, that plays in a cafe. It's weird, you got this rundown cafe in Mother 3 that has a jukebox that plays music that only plays on that jukebox. And the music that plays on it is pretty damn good. So it's like, they left these cool tracks in the way like that. It's, it's crazy. And I guess Gum Guy's recommendation resolve means the guy who's chewing gum. Who, you know, in the video, because I use footage from my old Let's Play Mother 3 where I went into the cafe as a backdrop for my guitar cover so you see him in the video. It's like, that guy's got good taste. It's a nice piece of music. I even, you know, put the chords in the video description of that in case you were, anyone was curious about chord progression because I couldn't figure it out. Because my guitar teacher back in the day when I showed him that, so he figured out the chord progression for me. It's like I figured out the melodies, like the guitar solo and stuff like that, but I didn't know the chord progression. Which funny is, the thing is, I kind of did get the general idea, but I'd like play the notes that I could hear during the solo section, you know, when it first goes around. It's like, do, 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 do. I, I was basically playing the fifth and thirds. I wasn't playing the root notes because I didn't know what the root note was. I was just playing the note that I could hear. But they basically form chords, you know? It's just I was playing the third and the fifth. It's a very nice chord progression. It's kind of chromatic during that. It's like, it goes like uh, C sharp major, A major, B major, G major, A major. So the third and fifth are constantly kind of moving in a chromatic way. 
Anyways, I seem to have completed the request. Just a moment while I check. This must be the rent of protein special design for amateur athletes. This type of protein does exist. The name protein doesn't have anything to do with professionals, I see. Thank you very much. I'm sure this is valuable, so please take it back with you. As of this request, my master has ordered me to drink an entire bottle of protein. Well, let's stand what stand is done. And this way I might be able to go proficient someday. Please accept the rewards. You know, isn't that like a spin-off fighting game? Or Persona? Does she appear in those? As a, f a character that I can be played as? It's like, yes, I used that protein. And now I'm strong. I'll kick your ass. I mean, she is an optional boss, isn't she? I think only on New Game Plus. I've never actually done that, I guess. You know, I haven't done a full playthrough of New Game Plus. So if I do that, it'll definitely be on that New Game Plus save file. It's like I accidentally entered the area of Tartarus that is obviously specifically for that at the start of uh, New Game Plus. And I didn't even have a party, party or anything like that. Not that it would have helped because everyone else was lower level. But I got my ass kicked in the first battle. I was like, I shouldn't be here yet. Fear so. I'm just thinking, what would be the easiest one to obtain? I'll go with this one first. Hopefully I can get all this done before the deadline. Yeah, back to that music. You know, that I did a cover of. The thing that confuses me, right? I did a simple Google search. All I wanted to know is what you'd call it. I mean, I know what it's called, but how you'd write it out. Like, for example, this. G major. You just write that out as G. If you wanted to write it as G minor, it's G M. You know, that's how it's written out. Like this. G dominant 7, how do you write that? G7, you know? And if you make it a major 7, it's G M A G 7. If it's a minor 7, it's G M 7, you know? Basically, a very simple question. What happens when you make it a flat 5? You switch the regular 5 in the G major chord to a flat 5, because that's one of the chords, right? In the solo section. Because it goes G major, then it changes to a flat 5 before transitioning to A major. That's G major again, A major, B minor, C sharp major, A major, B major, G major, A major, and then it's back to where it's like E minor 7. A Dom 7 does that twice, and then I like to play the uh, D add 9 by bending the 7th, uh, well, 5th fret of the B string to uh, get it up to the F sharp by going. Because then you get, you got all your bases covered there, eh? you got the major chord, and then you got the ninth, but then you're immediately bending up to the 3rd. Rather than just, you know, going like, uh, for like the complete chords, and then you got a B minor 7. But the point of the matter is, you look at that and like, okay, like that example, you know? D add 9. That's how it'd be written. Just D add 9. B minor 7. B M 7. But what about this freaking stupid flat 5? How, what do you call it? It's got the root, it's got a flat five, and it's got a third. And I'm not sure, maybe the chord even has a regular fifth as well, making the flat five a sharp four, which is weird. Because I don't know if it plays like that, 
but I play like so that I don't add in the regular fifth as I'm transitioning between the chord progression. You know, that's one thing. It's like I can't imagine doing a uh, guitar lesson on the, this track simply because of that solo. It's like it's very melodic, very simple. But then you get to that ending where it's like, it's like it's a bit finicky. It's basically just going through the scale. It's like. E uh, Dorian, which puts in the key of D minor, it's just kind of going back and forth between the notes a bit, for eventually ending on E. It's like it starts out with a bend on the B string, bending it up to I think C sharp. It just kind of moves from there, and I end it on the E. E, which is the 7th fret of the E string. That's how I play it anyway. Anyways, that's got nothing to do with this game, so let's get on with it, shall we? What was I here for? Let's have some coffee. Lot cheaper now, isn't it? When Max and courage, it costs the fortune. It took forever just to gain enough of a budget so that I could consistently follow the walkthrough. Because the walkthrough is like, yeah, you only go to Tartarus once a week if you have to. Me, They're probably looking at him because they're just like, look at that guy. I mean, he's got blue hair. Maybe it's supposed to be black, but it looks good. And you can't really say that. Look a bit serious. You got freaking red hair for God's sake. Hey, this is Kenji. Do you have time to talk to you? We haven't hung out in ages, and that's gonna stay a consistent thing. You have anything planned for next Sunday? Wanna get together? I've got Power Jack, I got Jack Frost, but I decline. Oh, okay, maybe next time then. You're only gonna be sad and disappointed if I begin another call. <laughs> It's just uh, all the bros want to hang out. Hey, it's big cats. You want to do something next Sunday? We are eventually, I think, going to hang out with him on a Sunday, but not this Sunday. Oh, you've already got plans. Well, maybe next time then. Later. This is the guy I'm going to say at this point. Hopefully that doesn't screw things up. It's like, oh yeah, they get up really upset over you and it decreases the social link. Points go down. Our academics are so slow. I assume it might be possible to, you know, get your academics high enough to be able to get to the top of your exams on a first playthrough, but you'd have to focus a lot on studying, which means that you won't be maxing out all the social that's that. Over here it comes in. Do you hear there's a few openings in the cult clubs? Really, I guess some students transfer it out. But it sounds interesting. I'm tired of going straight home with no experience. Go check out the art, music, and photography class at school. I suppose wrong. Much like with, you know, Kazushi. It's the same character in every club. I've never actually tried any of the other clubs, so I don't know how much it differs. This probably remains the same, just different class. I'll go with music like I did on my first playthrough. I am kind of curious. But on New Game Plus, whenever I get around to playing on that save file again, 
because I haven't got around to it since ages ago. It's like, I only got through the first boss now of this. So, on that, it's still in spring, basically, but, you know, on that playthrough, I'll probably pick it this one up, just for the hell of it. Not that it'll probably be seen in this let's play. Unless I somehow don't max out uh, this social link, then I'll use that. But I was able to max it out on my first playthrough, so it shouldn't be too hard. Alright, let's get started. Balance are on, has a whatever. We all need to start somewhere. Rome wasn't built in the day. Same goes for magic. It's bundled in basics. So is that basically that break in the map or something? So today I'll tell you about the objects of magic. Long, long ago, at the dawn of civilization, and created primitive religions. Animism, Totemism, and Shamanism all fall into this category. You learn them in world history, right? Could that be like some religion involving animals? I'm just thinking that because, you know, the way it smells. But it might not be. That last one, shamanism, is important to the artist's magic. Shaman to fall into a trance state and act as a state. Intimate very between the worlds, but the reality was they all just got really super high and they were just tripping balls. They're tripping balls so bad that they realize I don't even have any eyes. My glasses are fogged up. Counts as magic where humans can have the power of gods and spirits in their own hands. This shaman style magical tradition would later be the witches. Think the common European witches like them. Who will they think witches derive their power from contracts with the devil? That's just the image that Christianity imposed on them. Witches' predecessors were more like maidens than the gods. It was through prayer to those gods that they earned their powers. They learned to control their magic without losing consciousness during their transits. That's how they originally walked to magic. Originally, Europe was full of religions that worshipped a slew of various gods. They were generally and generically called pagans. Before you imagine a information, a celebration of Christmas style in a big background. Yeah, have you heard of that? They're basically, uh, the main theory is that uh, Christianity used this as a way of converting them to Christianity. It's like, now we'll take over your festivities and call it something else, and you'll be following us. Are you all still listening? No, Trent stays down. <laughs> Are you a little testy for paying attention? You're wrong and your afterlife will be blessed us. Oh, that's right. Zone of us. I don't think he's actually saying that phrase then. I don't know. Who should I pick? Alright, I could have asked you. What formed the origins of magic? Shamanism, wasn't it? Like, he mentioned the other two, but he didn't go into detail on the other two. Very good, you'll be born into your next life. Now then, paganism and Christianity have a tighter connection to one another. As the Roman Empire grew stronger, so did the population of the Christians of the Empire. First, each religion carried on its own worship separate You have the correct answer. Charms in Greece. Here, what I find interesting about Atlas is they clearly got an interest in you know, religion and stuff like that, especially Western religion. Because you look at all the titles in the Shin Megami Tensei games. I mean, you literally have games that got Bible in the title. So they've, you know, clearly got interest in all these, you know, different gods, religions and stuff like that. And the crazy thing is, <laughs> it's like, you know, the Christian god, basically. The, would it be Abrahamic? I'm not sure. But, you know, in the Shin Megami Tensei, it's basically kind of a main antagonist, like a reoccurring thing. It's like, maybe that's why they don't uh, release many of those titles in the West, because it'd be outraged, like, how oh, dare you! He's just like, hey, hey, man, we were just, you know, going by the what we read, right? You know, he sound, this god sounds a bit vengeful and stuff, so that's how we have the character of fear. It's like, all this whole loving stuff? No, no. 
that's not what we write about. So we decided to have him, you know, just kind of like worship me, or I will destroy you. So, I don't know. It's crazy. I remember, like, I mean, my knowledge of the Shin Megami Tensei is basically even about it from playing some Kabaddi played or something like games. Well, yeah, it it does sound interesting. I said before, the original Shin Megami Tensei has a simple premise, sort of. Well, it's kind of complicated, I guess. You know, it's post-apocalyptic. It starts out before that. You get some guy just called Steve or Steven or something like that. He makes like some program that allows you to communicate with demons, which is kind of the last bit of connection when you think about it for Persona, you know, and Shin Megami Tensei. Because in the first Persona, there was a guy who did a similar thing making a device that contacts demons and stuff like that. And this is before they were just reading the shadows and stuff like that. Maybe they did that because, you know, uh, they're like, okay, if we're going to expand globally with these games in popularity, we got to change a few things. Because, you know, some people in the West might not take kindly to, you know, the idea of uh, having demons in your mind and your powers and stuff like that. I don't know. But you know, you made like something like that, and then all the hell breaks loose. World War and the Apocalypse and things. And in the Apocalypse, demons roam the earth and so do angels. And you get factions, you get like two other main characters. One that sides with the angels, one that sides with the demons. You can side with our side if you want, or you can say fuck you guys. And just, you know, take on both of them, you know? Crazy. So you could basically sign side with the angels or the demons. Even Lucifer himself is there, if I recall. It's crazy. It's like, I think for the angels you have Michael as the uh, top one. I don't, I'm not sure if uh, you know, God actually shows up in that one. Well, yeah, I showed up in a few Shin Megami Tensei movies. Bonkers, man. Completely bonkers. You know, imagine that, because that came, the original one came back in the early 90s or late 80s. Imagine that getting released in the West. Man, they would have gone nuts over that kid. <laughs> That's the end of the day. Seems that certain clubs are still a recruiting. If you can find your proper room, you might be able to go. Who the hell are you? So a girl in got the lyrics set up in front of the station. Then she skewed that to go up and ask her out. Said, hey, what have you got to move yourself? But she didn't even move except for breathing. She didn't even bother with my way. I completely forgot about it. They could still have me helped. Must suck to be a bully. You have to pretend to be nice so no one gets suspicious. If someone finds out, you'd have to be even nicer. Do what? Since when the bullies act nice, I guess it's the two-faced variety. Those are the worst. The people who will treat you like shit, but then when they run out of people, it's like such a nice person. And so you have twats. Jim Kotakun, photography club, art club, and music club are recruiting new members. Cook is one of them, he is in one of them, but which one was it? I'm not actually sure. I don't, I don't recall she even appears in the class. Maybe she's only in one specific one. I don't know. That's the person we're gonna be hanging out with is basically in all the clubs, regardless, I guess. I want to see if Goth Girl has appeared yet, because I completely forgot about her. Snap, she's still not here. Really old thing, he's a hey, he looks slow, but he worries about how people do. I mean, I've had a can of hair my team, but I've never heard of the game being on the airbase. What are you doing here? What's up, Makoto? If you were gonna give someone a present, what would you do? I think Jamiri would have a uh, okay, roses. Yeah, I bet if I give her something like that, I'll get a lot closer. Hey. 
to the music club. Actually, what have you guys? Seems like my iframe. Maybe I had a wild duck burger. We had that crazy rumor that's going around online. If you haven't been, someone just signed up. Sounds a bit shady, doesn't it? It's like, that's not gonna come in about the plot. No, surely. I forget what room this bloody club is. Um, not student council. Huh, maybe I think it's on the first floor actually. Um I'm getting bored of text messaging. I guess it's good to be in touch with so many people, but pretty soon I'm going to get totally bored of this. When you lose interest in this kind of thing, you gotta get it back. You know, I used to use the phone a lot. I'm much like that. I don't anymore. Like, I used to take lots of pictures and stuff like that, you know? I haven't taken a picture in years. Lots of clubs recruitment drive seems to have started. Three clubs make the garden photography, you can observe any of them before joining. They've got a different feel than the sports club, so think hard before joining them. Well, in that case, I might as well peer into each room first, I guess. The room where the art club meets, there's an art club, new member of Paint the World with Color. Looks like we will paint black, for the world is dark. You're going to high school art room and I'm some drinker here. You observe the art club. We are to sketch the bus and they're not even drawing the same thing. I remember back in the day. You know, I can't even remember where I was. You know when you do good in a class and the teacher like gives you like something written down or something like that, you're like, good job, excellent job. I can't remember where I was, but I had that in our class. It's like, we had to sketch a cow skull with all the things. That's a thing with, you know, <laughs> music in school, isn't it? It's like you think, ah oh, yeah, I'm gonna play guitar and all this and it's like, no, you're gonna be playing like a flute or some shit. It's like, ah, that's lame. <laughs> Super Beach Club. I guess the, uh... No, it's not bad. Wait, is it on the different side of the building, right? Oh, okay, so it's in there. It's not a trick lab. Well, I want to see what the inside looks like. Now I'm kind of interested in going with one of the other clubs. I went with the music club on my first place. Now I'm kind of curious to check out one of the other ones. You're in high school science room. You have the photography club. You couldn't see very well because of the light power. Where's my glasses case? Okay. So here's how it goes. First of all, spec savers logo, music. On spec savers logo side, two out of three. On spec savers logo side for other clubs. We gotta do this in two ways. So it's going to be hard for any of the other clubs to win here. But okay, here we go. Round one. Okay, so that's a point for them. Points for music and... Okay, okay, so... Photography or... Uh, what's the other club? Photography and arts. Okay, let's go. Art. That one didn't land properly. That one didn't land properly. That one didn't land properly. Photography. 
that one didn't land properly. Photography, okay. So now for the finale. Music spec savers logo, photography cloud, font spec save logo. Two out of three. What? What did I say again? Okay, that's one for photography. One for music. Music it is. All that just for me to go with my original size. <laughs> what a waste of time. It's me the room in a music club. I'll probably join... I don't know, maybe I'll join the photography club on New Game Plus whenever I get around to playing that in my own band. It makes me wonder, because this character right here... Yeah, see? Luca's in all the clubs as well, basically. She's always there. But the guy she's talking to is the guy that's gonna be social for the club. And you know, his social link is kinda related to um, his club activities, basically. Much like Azushi, I guess. But, I don't know, I wonder how it would play out with the other clubs. Because it'd have to be a little bit. It's probably more or less as the same as that. Huh? Well, you're not a member of this club, are you? Do you know him, Fukusa? Look at his freaking eyes. What the hell is up with your face? And this is the guy I was just telling you about. Oh, so this is him, huh? You must be Makotaku. I've heard a lot about you, Fukusa. We're in all three clubs. Don't know how we have time for this. I'm looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned your name. I'm really happy you decided to stop by. I would have said the same thing if it had come to the art club or the park club, I'd be there as well. Um, I'm Keisuke Hiraka. Pleased to meet you. It's supposed to be pleased to meet you, Keisuke. And I... You're the club leader, after all. Oh, that's right. I'm the club leader of all these clubs. He always acts like this. I don't think we even see Fuka show off the club at all after this point, it's not confident. Things are going well. Sam decided to return to the club and now we're getting to be Maybe I should stay club leader for a little while longer. Hey, Kisuke Senpai, you're a senior, right? You must have finals coming up soon, huh? Yeah, that's kind of relevant, because now he's uh, last year high school man, so he's got uh, all things to focus on. No, oh, I, uh... Hey, Mikoto, are you good at playing music? I guess if I'm putting myself in this place, I can play music. Just like be like, oh no, not really. I, that's why I'm here. I want to learn music. Oh, then I guess you'll be learning a lot. Really good. You don't have any fish musicians and stuff. I mean, I'm out. I'm a leader. How's that work? Does being like this can't be just a It must be things. So if you're interested in joining the music club, just write your name on the side of the sheet. Write down the sheet music if you want to. Use that to spell it out. Granted, you'd only have like, a certain amount of letters. You know, musical music goes from A to G. In terms of that. You have been welcomed by Case Game. You've joined the music club and have become friends with the club members. You know, after all these years, I still can't read sheet music. I understand that the notes are on the line and in between the lines. I just don't know the order. Mysterious voice rings in your head. But yeah, that is how music goes, you know. Usually you'd start with C, because it seems like music kind of sees it from the perspective of the piano. Like, okay, middle C. But you know, if you start with A, it kind of goes in an alphabetical kind of order. Like, uh, a, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, C. Wait, yeah, C, yeah, D, D sharp, D, F, F sharp, G, D sharp, and then you back to A. Oh, shall I have a blessing when I choose the grid? No, no, but what's in our guy? Go stab the new social link. Hooray, now we're gonna have to get a fortune off the uh, persona. But so you know, only club members are allowed to have. So, be sure to sign your name on the sign up sheet. A music club meet songs, usually Wednesday and Christmas. Not quite to attend every day, just try to come as much as you can. As much as the walkthrough wants you to. I'm really surprised we're in the same club. We'd be in the same club regardless of what club we're in. I 
Is that the club? Is that go back to the I wonder if this is like needed before you can establish a good self swing as well. Where have you been? Maybe, I don't know. That's gonna do for this part. Should I record another part? Um, we're 50 minutes in. Once again. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll record one more part. I guess I'll make that a rule potentially. Three parts per record set. So, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.